Breaking news. Fighting your deputy will ruin PDP's chances in Edo. Primate Ayodele warns Obasiki. Hi guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Guys, the leader of the Inru Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Ayodele, has warned the Edo State Governor, Godwin Obasiki, against fighting his deputy, Philip Shuaibo, to avoid losing the state to the opposition parties. He revealed that uh, Obasiki's fight with his deputy would ruin the chances of the PDP in the coming election. He said this in a statement signed by his media aide, Osho Oluwa Tosin. The prophet advised the governor to be more diplomatic in addressing the issues between him and his deputy instead of washing their dirty linings in the public. I mean, according to Primate Elijah Yodele, Obasiki should shield his sword because fighting his deputy will, will make him fail. So he should be more diplomatic about this matter and had warned that CEO if you and your deputy will fight like this, definitely it would lead to a, 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 a major political weakness for mostly Governor Godwin Obasiki. So fighting him will definitely make PDP lose. And if there are issues, why not come together and sort it out? You know, instead of washing your dirty lining outside, this fight will not give you victory. And it will make you lose. So it's best Obasiki and his governor, uh, Philip Shuaibo, should stop fighting. He has urged the both of them to find ways to sort to their differences because this fight is getting more spiritual and it may affect PDP's chances in uh, the elections, in the coming elections. And the party can lose in a do if this fight continues. So... Uh, instead of you to put your house together and see how you win the elections you are fighting, it's best you stop this fight or there is more to do than to fight. In a small world, you look at the beginning. Abi, do you want to lose your states? Don't you, do you think the people love you? Those ones that are clapping for you, giving you go ahead, saying don't worry, fight him. They are the ones that are creating more problems for you. So according to uh, Prime Minister Elijah Yodili, Obasiki and his deputy should try as much as possible to settle the feud between them, to settle the differences between them because it will get to a point whereby it may be too late and they won't be able to resolve this issue they are having now. And then uh, the, the PDP in Edo State would definitely uh, lose its its grip in the state and it will cost the PDP a lot because definitely they would lose if this fight should continue. Well, my country people, it's not a new thing that the the feud between Obasiki and uh, Shuaibu is getting messier uh, as the day passes by. It's getting messier and more complicated because at first Obasiki had accused Shuaibu of working against his interest. You know, he described the situation as a coup against him. He made the allegations known. And as it is now, we are seeing that uh, this rift between Governor Godwin Obasiki and uh, Philip Shuaibu is not ending anytime soon. You know, it's not ending anytime soon because it's so obvious that uh, the deputy governor of Edo State would want to contest for the governorship elections of the state by 2024. But uh, as it seems now, Obasiki has about one year and few few months to go, you know, to the end of their tenure. Let's just say a year and to the end of their tenure. And this crisis between Governor Godwin Obasiki and his deputy has really, really weakened uh you know, they are the strong bond they once shared. It has weakened the strong bond they once shared. And it was gathered that because of the ambition of uh, Shuaibu, he didn't get the blessings of uh, Governor Godwin of Asiki. You know, he did not tell the governor, oh, this is what I had. This is the plans I have. I think this... This is when all these problems started. 
this was when all these pro- uh, problems started. Obasiki was feeling like, oh, this guy is trying to um, override me. He's trying to overtake me. Meanwhile, he didn't let his principal know of his uh, agenda, of his plans and all of that. But then when you ask Shuaibu, Shuaibu will say, no, don't worry. Things are fine between Obasiki and I. It seems that uh, opportunistic politicians are just trying to foil the conflict between Obasiki and I. I mean, this is what uh, Philip Shuaibu will mostly tell news reporters, you know, those that are there to interview him on what's happening, on the differences and the rift between him and Governor Godwin Obasiki. So, my country people, Prime Minister Daily don't come to mouth for this matter. In don't say, as if they be like this, so you know, get as he want to be. Because if Obasiki should keep on fighting Shuaibu, they would lose the party. The party would lose at the incoming elections. And they don't want such a thing. They don't want the PDP to lose its grip in the two states. So it's best for uh, for that's a Governor Godwin Obasiki to mellow down and try as much as possible to walk or reason with his deputy, Philip Shuaibo. So guys, Nigerians have reacted. Each time I see this man and his face and his useless predictions, I get irritated. Well, there is nothing, this is nothing but a political prophet. Our Oga pastor, please leave political prediction alone. Oga prophets, face your pupils calling. That is what you are actually called for. Okay, well, it has already ruined their chances. If saying the truth will surely bring division among the party, then no problem. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.